American president inherits a country in crisis on many fronts, including on the world stage and with a tough economy here at home. Sound familiar? Well, we're talking about the nation's 33rd president, Harry Truman, who took over the White House in the final stages of World War II. So are there lessons to be learned by President-elect Biden? Of course. Morning Joe host Joe Scarborough is the man to ask. He's out with a new book today. It's called Saving Freedom, Truman, the Cold War, and the Fight for Western Civilization. Hi, Joe. Good morning. It's good to see you. It's great to see you, too. Uh, you know, I, I, I'll get to the book, but I got to ask you about politics because it's a big morning. Um, you know, the president has authorized the GSA now to begin the transition. Are you surprised that more Republicans didn't speak out sooner during this process? <laughs> I'm shocked. I really am. And that's the one thing that we're moving now, obviously, toward a Biden administration. The GSA stepped in. You've, you've seen the, the, the president now is giving the go ahead for them to cooperate with the Biden transition. So I'm not going to say the next month and a half, two months are going to be a return to normalcy, but hopefully we'll, we'll ha see things calm down. I still can't come to terms with a lot of my friends that I served in Congress with for eight years. The fact that they've remained silent through this entire process. They didn't recognize uh, Joe Biden, who clearly won the election. Uh, and some have even suggested that there are elements of the Republican Party that are now post-democratic, uh, post-democracy. I don't know if I'll go quite that far yet, but it really is stunning, really is disappointing to see my former colleagues uh, behave this way. And keep uh, keep uh, 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 having having millions and millions of Americans questioning the legitimacy of America's democratic elections. It's it's really a sad time period for us. Well, you know, your book comes right on time because I think in difficult times, the one thing we all could use is perspective, and history certainly mm -hmm. provides that for us. And I and I loved reading about Harry Truman, who uh, I had forgotten you know, really worked with a divided Congress. He did not have control of Congress and yet was able to accomplish a lot. Is there a lesson there for Joe Biden? Oh, boy, there's a big lesson. And there's a lesson for all of us, too. We've, we have elected time and again politicians to Washington, D.C. that are outsiders. We think that's cool, kind of. That's almost as cool as deciding to get somebody to operate on you for brain surgery that's never really done brain surgery. <laughs> no, we need people who know what they're doing. Uh, Harry Truman had been in the United States Senate for a decade. He forged relationships just like Joe Biden has over the past 30, 40 years in Washington, D.C. And so when Truman went in and told Republicans something that they didn't want to hear, that two years after World War II, we were going to have to confront Joseph Stalin and begin a Cold War, what JFK called a long twilight struggle. Uh, he had to go to Republicans who were isolationists, Republicans who, after World War I, uh, pulled back into this fortress America mentality and explained to them why we had to move forward. We had to protect Western Europe from Soviet communism. We had to push through the Marshall Plan that would feed the millions who were starving in Europe because, as, as Truman th said, uh, a hungry European is a target for communism. Uh, and and we, we had to form NATO, a, a sort of alliance that had never been formed before in American history. We had to become uh, internationalists even in peacetime. Harry Truman did it, and he did it with the help of a lot of Republicans because he had built those relationships, just like Biden has built relationships with Republicans. If you could slide this book under the door of Joe Biden and, and say, take this lesson from Harry Truman, your predecessor, learn this lesson, what would it be? Well, I think I think the two lessons he, he already knows. I, I don't think he, he needs to be told to get the best and the brightest. Harry Truman did that. He had uh, General George C. Marshall as his secretary of state, a man who had organized the Allies' victory in World War II. He had Dean Atchison, maybe the most gifted diplomat of the 20th century, who really was the architect of this revolutionary foreign policy. He had Avril Harriman, who was an ambassador to the Soviet Union uh, in 1947, who actually first visited Russia in 1899 when Nicholas II was czar of Russia. I mean, he got the best and the brightest in his cabinet. 
And we see Joe Biden is doing the same thing. This is one of the most experienced cabinets uh, that, that we've seen on the field of foreign policy, uh, at least since uh, Bush 43. Uh, and then you, you also, uh, we've already talked about the bipartisanship. It is so important, and Joe Biden knows this like Harry Truman knows it. You have to keep going after the other party, even when they're resistant. I always joked that Bill Clinton, you could impeach Bill Clinton on Tuesday, and he'd call you up on Wednesday and go, hey, you want to go golfing? That's because <laughs> Bill Clinton always knew there was another vote. There was always a another to reason made. to work with yeah. the other party. Yeah, there was a deal to be made, and that's why he was so successful. That's why LBJ was successful, and that's why Truman was successful. Well, like I said, Joe, there's a lot of lessons here, and also just learning about the history of Truman coming from Missouri, you say, short in stature, bad eyes. Who would have thought he would become such a consequential figure in American history? It's a great read, yeah. Joe. Thank you. The book is called Saving Freedom. You can find more information about it today.com slash shop.